Now, listen, you guys, as we are one week away from Pink Friday 2, it seems like Queen Ready is out there doing shenanigans on Billboard 100. And uh, we're going to be talking about academics going in on Megan the Stallion and her body count. And Hazel E is not a letting go, okay? She is literally stepping on the Transformer and her sister Snake. Um, and at the same time, you guys, Tyler has got some new music coming up. Hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug. I trust you guys are doing well and I trust you are doing great. Personally, I am doing great you guys. I am doing amazing. And uh, without further ado, let us dive straight into today's tea. So first of all, you guys, we're going to talk about Pink Friday too, okay? It is just a gentle reminder to you guys that we are just a week away from a Pink Friday too. Do you guys have your monies ready? for those of you who did not pre-order and if you have already pre-ordered how are you feeling are you excited let me know you guys in the comment section okay now i did see a certain perfume bottle circulating on the internet and people were like oh my goodness uh, that um you know red ruby bottle is gonna be bundled together with the album and um i cannot wait to see you guys how uh you know the marketing is going to be around pink friday too and now literally people are going crazy on the internet you guys because they are unsettled scared of what a pink friday 2 may actually be able to do in um you know basically a cultural reset and i feel like this is what female rap needs right now and uh, still speaking about pink friday 2 you guys it seems like nikki Minaj did a message uh just reminding us how um you know pink friday 2 is going to be such an amazing album and uh, now she had to take to her instagram and her twitter obviously to share that while she is about to release one of the greatest albums of all times and this is what she had to say and i will read dear bubs it just dawned on me i'm about to release one of the greatest albums of all times love always harajuku bobby and uh with the bobby of course emoji and it's exciting you guys it's an exciting era a literal cultural reset okay and uh the next thing that i'm gonna be talking about you guys i am going to be talking about this entire situation of academics going off on Megan dragging her behind and basically shaming her for her sexual choices now listen one thing that I'll tell you is between Megan um, you know and academics literally I don't care for neither one of them so I'm just literally watching from the sidelines okay seeing what's happening so academics has all of a sudden decided to be Tory Lane's um, you know spokesperson because because he was out here talking about how you know Megan would throw him would throw herself at um, you know, Tory and how he never had to do anything and how she would always make herself available and things like that and I'm like all the aggression that academics has towards women sometimes I feel like what are you competing for the same men because honestly sometimes I, I, I really just don't understand okay but that being said you guys Megan is not like even my favorite favorite person like that I do think that she's talented I do feel like sometimes you know the happenings of the industry um, you know the sleeping around sometimes it does overshadow her talent I do feel like that's how it is like sometimes because people care more about what she does with her body more than the talent that she actually has and I just feel like he's not in any position to talk about how you know she was laying up with Tory Lanez and stuff like that. Like what what are you in this equation? Okay. She's Megan is not my favorite person, but in this regard, I'm just looking at him like academics. Why don't you don't talk about Didi? Why don't you talk about Jamie Fox? Let's see you talking about all these men. We don't see you doing that. All we see you doing is dragging women and it gets tiring, okay? And I don't even understand how somebody is not embarrassed to be in women's business. 24 7 it doesn't make any sense it, it literally doesn't and the way he's so disrespectful you can tell that there is a lot of animosity through um you know what he says and stuff like that now let me know you guys what you think about this entire situation are you team academics or are you team megan okay let me know in the comment section now the next thing that i'm going to be talking about you guys i am going to be talking about hazel hazel e is becoming a problem on the internet today in ginga like i'm just looking at her like Go, what is happening? Why are you frustrating people? You know that certain people don't like it when, you know, fakes, um, 
spoken when people are pointing out what's obvious they don't like it they literally in their minds i think they really did believe that 2018 was going to be happening forever and that you know people would continue not seeing exactly what's happening uh behind closed doors so you do know that the transformer came for hazel basically called her pickle bodied and stuff like that and it seems like hazel was like no 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 you have got no business calling me uh you know pickle bodied and stuff like that i am literally ready for you because hazel dragged the behind out of the transformer that i for a second i felt bad but then i was like oh okay it's not like she feels bad for anyone now she's doing a slideshow on the instagram trying to prove a point that she's pretty but i'm like no matter how many filters deep down you know what's good okay you know what's tea so has posted an old picture of the transformer with no makeup on and said i will be a pickle body but baby only a mother could love that face you guys, I just literally could not believe it. And she also went ahead to say, I just realized that I'm, on, I'm only at war with former S workers. Let me go sit my de degree behind, um, degree having behind somebody somewhere else. And she also came for, you know, the sister because the sister also had a couple of things to say about her. So it, it seems like she's out there clearing them. And I'm just looking at them like, oh my goodness, this is going to be such a mess, okay? And uh, so do hop into the comment section, you guys, and let me know what you think about Hazel E and the Transformer going back at it. Now, so far, the match, you guys, it is now at a point where Belkalis is trying to prove to us that, oh, well, her life is so good. She's so pretty. She's got a nice body. Like, it has gone as far as shaking her behind on the internet to prove a point that she has a banging body. And I'm just looking at her like, ah, ah, ah. do we see the same thing when you look in the mirror? Okay, she was out here shaking her behind, I guess, to prove that she has a nice body and, you know, playing with the husband, being on the mirror, trying to prove to us that, oh my goodness, we're so much in love and stuff like that. And Hazel E also released some DMs that are allegedly between the husband and, of course, Alexa Sky, you guys. And according to Hazel E, he's letting us know that, oh, well, the Transformers husband was out here trying to, you know, have a little something going on with Alexa Sky, and honestly speaking, I'm just like, is this man ever going to stop embarrassing his wife? Because these receipts look like they were from 2021. That's not too far ago, you guys. Honestly, that's not too far back. And um, yeah, do hop into the comment section, you guys. Let me know what you think about this entire feud, okay? Thank you very much, you guys, for watching, and uh, thank you very much for making it this far. If you haven't already. What are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I post. Until my next one, see you.